And then... As big as I can, with some level. So, take off that you step on, which is where the inter wall. Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to discuss uh, some of the interior framing details and do a pre-blower door walkthrough and give a description of some of the things going on inside with the double stud walls. But I'm gonna do a quick walk around and show where it's at at this point. So all of the exterior walls are framed. Many of the interior walls are not. But, um, so this, this wall here, you can see is double two by six with a, with a one inch gap. So that's gonna be a full 12 inch thick wall. And the purpose of that is because the uh, air conditioner, uh, well, the heat pump condensers are outside of this. And I don't want the sound to transmit. So this is gonna help with that, um, with that vibration. So, going down to the basement, all of the uh, walls down here are framed, and I went over, went over the um, the assembly here with the insulation plastic, and then there's uh, going to be uh, blown-in cellulose on this wall, and then that'll be finished. I'm gonna have a little bit of spray foam up in the box sill. It's really not a great way to do anything else. I wanted to avoid it spray foam as much as possible, but that's what we're gonna do there. And then uh, this one utility room is gonna be done with the timber bat uh, because I gotta get plywood on the wall just like this. Uh, so the, this, this whole room will be all sheathed with plywood. And same thing in here. And this is a rate on vent, so I gotta seal this up before the blower door test. But that's the only penetration in the building at this point because I don't have any of the um, drain waste vent or ERV vent or kitchen range hood or dryer. None of that's poked through yet. So we have an intact air control layer. All right, I'm back up on the first floor. Um, Double stud walls are all in on the exterior. You can see, uh, exterior stud, interior stud. So that's a full uh, eight inch wall because it's three and a half, three and a half with a one inch gap. And then these are offset, which doesn't really matter, but I'd prefer the offset studs for a little bit better thermal bridging. But the kitchen wall here, you can see are lined up double stud but lined up. The purpose of that is because the range hood has to go in um, and I didn't want to try to sneak a six inch pipe through offset studs so that way I can get a range hood vent up there without worrying about it. And like I said, when you kind of do the math, it doesn't really matter if they're offset. I mean, it preferred to, but it doesn't really matter. So all the windows, it's all double stud. Make sure these are all closed up. And then again, this box sill is gonna be spray foamed only because there's no other really simple way to do it. I don't wanna do it with bats. Bats are not, not gonna seal up that well. They're not gonna give uh, continuity to the insulation layer. So I'm gonna spray foam just this box sill and the basement box sill, but that's it. Then you can see this, uh, this goes from where the floor truss is up into the wall. So these, this all planes out, even though the studs aren't aligned. But again, the interior is not uh, structural. The exterior wall is the structural wall that goes up to the trusses. And then up on the second floor, no interior walls are done, just the exterior. 
but one, so again, offset studs, and then not offset studs. And the reason this is an offset is because they're all tied together with little webbings. And the purpose of that is because I have a 10 foot, what is it, 10 foot, six inch to the, to the bottom core of the truss. Plus there's another, I think six feet up in the webbing until you get to the roof decking. So, you know, 16 foot wall on a two by four wall is a little flimsy, but this, with these two tied together, it gives a nice stiff wall for wind deflection. Uh, so I don't have to worry about um, that wind, uh, that wall bowing in and out. So this is, uh, this is like this now because they're actually gonna come and do the insulation netting next. And then the insulation netting will go on, obviously the face here. And then there's gonna be three quarter strapping right across the whole thing. Then the interior walls will butt up to that strapping. So that's the purpose of that. Again, there's no, there's no penetrations in anything up here. So we should have a good intact air control air to test. I'm on the second floor, I wanted to point out a couple of things. So you can see there's no uh, interior walls framed um, and things are a little out of sequence. So there is no insulation in obviously, but the webbing for the dense pack cellulose is already in. Um, but as you can see, there's interior strapping on the ceiling, which is normal, but it's also on the walls. And the purpose of that is that when this gets packed, it tends to bow out and make the drywall bubble um, and it doesn't lay flat. It tends to have screw pops. Uh, the drywallers, I'm sure, hate it. Um, so this holds the strapping holds that webbing back so that way it doesn't um, push it out and if it does bow out it's inside of that little three quarter inch space so electrical we have to just cut the bottom flap it up and then put another piece over it so there'll be another piece of strapping uh, in there just to seal the webbing back down but behind this there's going to be eight inches of dense pack cellulose in the wall and then there's going to be a full 18 inches, cut this back and show you. There's a full 18 inch space there at the eave of dense pack cellulose. And that's gonna go all the way up the slope. And then there's 18 inches of loose fill across the top, dense pack, dense pack. Um, the other thing that's gonna happen is uh, the interior walls end up intersecting with the strapping instead of the framing. So you don't get a bunch of extra framing in the wall where the interior wall intersects it. You know, there's more room for insulation and the uh, interior wall can just attach to that strapping. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at up here. And next step on this part is to start framing those interior walls. Thanks for watching the video. And in the next one, I'm gonna do a uh, mid construction blower door test and the results were pretty good, so I'm excited to show that.